Glorious, glorious, glorious Wednesday, all. Hope everybody is safe. It is hot. It's hot here in New York. Touched 100 degrees. My car said 108. I said, I said, oh no. Time to go back inside. Oh man. Let's see the boys is here. Let's let the team in. There you go. Hey, what's going on? Hey, who? What's up, my guy? Hey, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. Everything Long good time, with you? Man. I miss y'all. <laughs> you looking like a superstar on the poster. <laughs> you know, I'm trying, man. Let me get my bro in here and see what's shot here. They said Jay look like he's about to beat somebody up on the poster. <laughs> Man, come on, man. Yeah, man, that's gonna be, that's his new flyer forever. He got the fly, forever flyer. Yeah. Forever, ever. How y'all fellas doing, man? Good, man, how you doing? Man. I'm good, good, man. man. You know. Team here, everybody here? What's going on, Shotty, what up? What's going on, Shotty? What's going on, Shotty? What's the deal? What's the deal? Yeah, what's the deal? Uh, no, they're not used to this. They're not used to this. This is the second time in a row that we are not sitting next to each other, man. Yeah, man. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, look, Rashad, Rashad on the same type time I'm on. We, we both in the, in the hotel, huh? <laughs> yeah, 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 they got me. They got me out in Disney where I've been out here for all week. Um, oh, yeah. Whew. Yo, is yeah. sports out there today? I can't complain about that. Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's been it's been real hot every day, and um, it's been raining. It's been raining every every day, um, like off and on, off and on rain. So I'm ready to get back to New York. It's your <laughs> oh, it's 100 out here, man. It's 100. Yeah, nah. It's, no it's, joke. I had to water the grass. I ain't done that in so long. I'm, I, I felt bad <laughs> in the grass. Man, it's, been, it's been crazy out here, too, man. The weather been crucial. Hey man, we're thinking about moving out to Florida at some point, man. That's, man, Jay's been talking about it for a minute. Yep. I, I just don't know how we're gonna deal with all that. Like that rain, you know, the weather's nice out there for the most part, but that rain, I don't know about all that. There was, there was <laughs> random rainfalls. Yeah, <laughs> it's too much. No state tax though. That's 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 always a good incentive. That's yeah. Big. yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. But um, now nah, let's get into this. So, uh, welcome to everybody that is joining us on EYL University and also YouTube. So we do this once a month, we call it open enrollment. So if you've been following Earn Your Leisure, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with EYL University. We talk about it a lot. And EYL University is our online um, learning platform that has grown into a community of over 8,000 people. And uh, what happens is that we do, we do a lot of stuff, but one thing that's a staple is every Wednesday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard, we do a class. And that class varies from, you know, we talking about stocks or we talking about taxes, we talk legal, um, real estate. And once a month we do what's called the group chat call where it's me, Troy, and usually cheat code. Um, <laughs> and we go over like stock plays that we're making. We go over charts. And a lot of times during that, we use the cheat code algo and um, kind of like show the members of EY University like what it looks like and you know how to actually use it because that's something that you know especially Troy and Ooh. I'm I actually it's crazy I actually just hit Troy the other day that's like oh, I want to get more into the technical analysis like you really got to sit me down because um, I'm more of a fundamental long-term investor I do do options though so I feel like for my options it's really going to help me because I'm familiar with it um, but Troy uses it every single day so long story short um, yeah, we did the episode, I think we did the episode last month, right, Troy? Mm -hmm. Yep, last month, last May. 18th. Yeah. They, yeah. They, circled the, they circled the date on their calendar. Hey, <laughs> man, it was, that's forever, forever burned in my brain, man. Yeah. It's never, it hasn't been the same yeah. since. Yeah. 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 Nothing was the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so shout out to my guys, J.U. and Francis, and they are collectively the Chico 
cheat code algo. Um, and I told the story on the episode, but if you're not familiar with what the cheat code is, two young entrepreneurs out of the DMV area, and they started a fintech company um, where they give people a competitive advantage in the stock market um, with technical analysis, like looking at stock charts, not just stock crypto, all that stuff, but um, it's a real interesting story. So I thought it'd be dope to do this YouTube because during that episode, we spoke about it verbally, but mm -hmm. people didn't actually get a chance to actually see it. So being that we do this at least once a month at EYL University, I'm like, all right, well, this will be a, a good follow up from the episode. And it will also not only educate people, but give them a chance to actually like see what we're talking about, as opposed to just hearing what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to go we're going to go um, we're going to go into it. Yeah. We're going to look at look at it. Um, and then at the end, we'll go over some um, Q and A from from some earners. So um, so yeah, yeah I'm man. not gonna waste. I I, I I was I was just saying that um, I, I told uh, Francis this, but Jay who this is kind of crazy. I was in the airport uh, in Montego Bay, Jamaica on Monday, and um, a gentleman walks up to me. Shout out, shout out to my boy Ezrin, and he was like, I can't believe it's y'all EYL. Yo, y'all put me onto the cheat code, and I'm like. Really? He was yeah. like, yo, man, I've been trying to get my girl in the stock market. Yo, what they got over there is incredible. I don't know why people are asleep. And so yeah. I think this is going to be a perfect time to wake the audience up because what y'all have created is revolutionary. And I'll be the first to admit, like I was using Yahoo Finance. I was using E-Trade charts. And then uh, when I got introduced to you guys, man, it, nothing's been the same for me as well. It's because I, been the same. I, And Shadi, he can attest to it. I, I use a cheat code every single day every day, whether if I'm looking at a crypto investment or if I'm looking at an index or if I'm looking at a, um, a stock is my go-to. So I appreciate y'all wholeheartedly. And in fact, in Atlanta, remember Shadi in Atlanta, we was at Travis event and this dude was like, yo man, Troy, just tell me, Chico is, 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 is for real? I'm like, bro. He was like, Rashad told me to come to you because you use it every day. <laughs> I'm like, no, trust me, oh, it's, it's well worth everything that you could think, man. It, it is revolutionary. So salute to you brothers for real. Too young, yeah, really like, doing it. like I said, it was crazy because I actually just um told Troy because I'm like, um, you know, I'm living out my dream uh one by one. Now, when people ask me what I do for a living right now, today I say I'm a I'm a um a YouTuber because I always wanted to be a YouTuber. So now right. I get to say that and um <laughs> it feels good. It feels good to say I'm a YouTuber. Originally, what I wanted to do before anything was be a day trader. So once I really start day trading. When they ask me what I do for a living, I'm gonna say I'm a day trader. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> only right. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm crossing right. off. I'm crossing yeah, off my one occupation. One. I'm crossing off my occupation bucket list one bucket list one by one. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's mm -hmm. get into this. But before we get into this, once again, welcome to everybody that's on on YouTube. And um, this is a microcosm of what we do for EYL University. So I'll explain what EYL University is. EYL University is an educational platform that we started about a year and a half ago. And um, it really encompasses pretty much everything. We have weekly classes. We have MG to Mortgage Guys, Home Buyers Blueprint is included in there. I do monthly financial planning calls. Troy does the book and movie club. We have a Facebook group. We also have infinity group. So it's built after like a school model. So we have a crypto club, a real estate club, um, legal club, a stock, stock market club, a legal club, shout out to the legal team, a cannabis club that just started. Oh, not um, yet, not yet, not yet. That, that's on, that's starting next week, but that's going to be great. Week, yeah. <laughs> and a mature <laughs> earnest club, over 50 people, over 50 years old. There's a, a, a UK based club. They just had a, a virtual meetup. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. And um, yeah, rather than like just having us tell you about it, we like to show it. So we do this once a month. So if you're interested, go to EYLUniversity.com. Um, this will be the last opportunity to catch this at the current price because we are raising the price. Um, we're doing we're doing ourselves a disservice. Why not raise the price? Talk, nah, talk right. to him. Talk to him, really. I mean, we, we go out in circles of, of people. Like, we, we're always firm believers of if you want to be successful, surround yourself with successful people. And so we've been around a lot of successful people. And the first thing they tell us is like, yo, y'all doing yourself a disservice. The price is too low. 
is way too low. Um, mm-hmm. So for the value that we add for our community, it's only right that we do our self service because we want to continue to serve. Um, so go ahead, Shadi. I, I know this this is your thing. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I mean I, it is what it is. Um, that's what it is. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no value add for that price anywhere in the world. So we're still we'll still have it on an affordable level, but um, yeah, that's all. That's over with. So if you're interested, <laughs> we, we um catch it before before it changes. EYLUniversity.com. So let's let's get into this conversation. Um, so Troy, would you like to start or? Yeah, so uh, again, this this is a platform um, that I use every single day. Um, and I'm glad that these brothers are here because they actually walk you through it to show you the process and how you can use it on a daily basis. Or you could just use it passively if you're not a day trader, which you've turned a lot of my friends into, fellas. <laughs> you've converted a lot of my friends into day traders. But if you're a long-term trader, it, it, it's also a good tool to use. And um, I'm just happy that they're going to be able to walk through and show you step-by-step what this is all about because people keep hearing about it you see the ads about it you watch the episode and so now it's here in front of you you get to witness it firsthand so jay who uh francis you are a co-host the, the the floor is yours the screen is yours uh so take it from here fellas cool, cool. all right sorry when we saw now nah, go ahead I, I mean i'll start with the introduction i just want to say you know shout out to rashad and for you know always always want to give you guys your flowers um like you said a year and a half ago you guys started this monsoon of a platform you know what i'm saying to you know get information out to the culture and you know really change change how the culture views things in very many aspects and you know the the way the the impact that it's had on the culture is is immense like i i've you know go to the grocery store people are like you know yo hey did i EYL, weren't you? On that yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yo, that is crazy. Yeah, yeah, y'all really doing that thing, man. So, yeah, just wanna, just wanna hats off, man. Hats off, and you guys are doing a beautiful thing. And always wanna give flowers where it's due, man. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate it. Yo, Appreciate to be honest, I forgot even to mention my handyman came came to to the crib. Wow. You know, but you know, we just moved, so I I had a handyman come through, you know, help put up stuff and stuff like that. So we talking and stuff, and, and he hears me and Jay on the phone. He's like, "Yo, man, what do you do? You know this and that." I was like, "Yeah, you know, I, I uh, do trade. I'm you know, trade. I'm running a software thing." Uh, and I was like, "Yeah, you you heard of uh, EYL? Like earn your leisure?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah no, you earn your leisure." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, he's, he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah." Um, I was like, "Yeah, we just on there not too long." He's like, "Yo," he's like, "Man, it's crazy. I saw this one episode with this girl doing the water, right?" because <laughs> he was like i'm an engineer and it, it you know it, it really changed me it put me back on the path of doing engineering and i was like man it's crazy like i everything come full circle you know what i mean like it's wow. wild yeah. so everything, yeah. everything y'all do man, just, it stretches. but anyway all right let's let's get into it um so pretty much man uh like, where do i start man so so first and foremost i think just going over what why we created cheat code in the first place and what it really truly is right a lot of people will hear us say, you know, she goes to trade a tool, helps you know when to buy, when to sell, this, that, and the third. Um, and they'll automatically assume that we're saying, like, yo, you, you just, you just, it tells you buy, you buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, and it's going to give you all, you know, the full answers every single time, you know, infallibly. And that's not the case, right? So what it is, is, is we build something that, you know, we educate, first and foremost, there's two, two components of what we do, education and then the tools, right? So, you know, first and foremost, we always preach to learn first before you do anything, right? You need to understand what it is that, that you do as a trader, what your trading style is, you know, what, what's going to work for you and your personality and your timelines and your, you know, work schedules and things like that, right? Your, your overall strategy. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, what, and then learning, you know, what kind of comes with that territory. Once you kind of, you know, understand it and you understand the lay of the land, I always relate things back to, you know, ancient war models. I don't know why it's just my thing. But, like, if you were to come onto a battlefield at some point in time, you're not just going to run onto a battlefield with, you know, in your, you know, shirt and, no and shorts or whatever it is, with no weapon, right, or, or just a stick. You, you got to, you know, kind of see the lay of the land, know what's going on on the lay of the land first and foremost, right? Then you want to be able to kind of protect yourself and put your armor on, right? And so, you know, le- learning the lay of the land is just really understanding what trading is and where you kind of fit into that puzzle. What happens with you know as a trader and what your goals are, and then kind of your your armor in the in the trading world is the education, right? right? Because no matter what happens, people will come into trading and they'll make some quick money and they think it's it's going to last forever or whatever it may be, and they find themselves getting hammered, you know, a couple of weeks later and they quit or whatever it is. 
And when you have the education and you know exactly what is going on in the trading world, where where we are in a particular market cycle, how things work, and then you understand, you know, how to actually accomplish your trading strategy. Now you have, you know, what, what you need to, to have longevity in the trading game. Um, I've been doing this since, you know, 2011, you know what I'm saying? Really, really, you know, actively on a, on a regular basis. And I've seen them, seen them come and go. I've seen the, the, the things move. And education was the only thing that really held me down through that whole time. Um, and then your weapon, right? So, you know, your weapon, you got tools out there, like like uh, Troy was talking about using, uh, you know, Yahoo Finance and, you know, different, different tools that's out there, um, you know, uh, seeking alpha, whatever it may be. It's different tools. Obviously, the Chico, we, we, you know, the whole goal of the Chico was to create the most, you know, accurate, strong, you know, just vicious tool that you possibly can have, a weapon that you could possibly have on the battlefield when you're coming into trading. That's really going to help you to, you know, to uh, survive out there and make, and make money on a consistent basis. So that's essentially how the whole system works. A lot of people run and just go get Chico without having the armor of the education. And they don't, you know, they don't have that, you know, there and that's not the way we roll right we want to have the education and then the community is the people that's that's with you on the battlefield you know what i'm saying it's going to tell you hey look out over there something's coming you know duck you know what i mean Bye. like you know, yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. you know you think and the way we operate in discord you know the way our community operates is basically you know just like you think of like the roman soldiers you know everybody kind of united and just you know doing their thing and going out there and attacking every day. That's kind of how our system operates, you know what I mean? And our team over there is absolutely phenomenal. I got to take this time out to give all the props to everybody that holds it down to the Discord, all of our admins, Percy, Bucky, Keo, um, uh, Noxus, Pablo. Uh, um, I already said Bucky. Yeah, Bucky yeah. two yeah. times because Bucky's my dog. Yeah. Um, DJ, yeah. Crixus, yeah. Yeah, everybody, yeah. man. Yeah, they, you know, Big yeah man, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Okay, Shout so out. yeah, so that's that's how we roll. Our admin team just real dope. They give you the trades and 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 then they teach on a day to day basis as well. So it's a dope program. So anyway, I'll get into you know the weapon that we created, you know, called the cheat code, um, how it works, you know, um, and, and and kind of how we operate with it. Um, so I'll go ahead and share my screen real quick. And basically, what I'll do is I'll start off with you know the biggest, uh, the easiest one that I typically start with when I try to explain how the cheat code works is on the Tesla chart because I think most everybody has either seen it or is familiar with Tesla it. Is too, yeah. And it's the cleanest, uh, cleanest example here. So, okay. kinda, you know, just to go on a very basic level, you know, there's three different components that come with the cheat code algo, right? Essentially what you're looking at is, is you got, you know, multiple colors here and the colors all, you know, give you a very easy to identify, um, you know, understanding of what's happening. Everything you see on a particular chart, it just seeks to give you a piece of information, right, about what's happening with that particular stock, right? When you don't have it on there, this is all you see. You see red and green candles up and down, up and down, up and down. Not a whole lot of information until you start to really draw your technicals and do things like that. <clears throat> Here, this gives you a really good foundation to understand, okay, you know, here I enter into a particular, when you see a, a, a B uh, right here at this particular point, this tells me that I've entered into a potential buy phase, a buy zone, all right? So now I got my, my buy zone. That's the first signal that we want to kind of look to, to give us an idea that it may be time to buy. The second signal that we got is this cloud that follows underneath of the candlesticks. This cloud is either going to be flat, it's going to be diagonal, going up or it's going to be diagonal and going down, right? Obviously, if we want to, if we're taking a buy signal, we want that trend to be going up in an upward direction, right? Um, so once we have the buy signal, we wait and we see that we have an upward trend being established inside of our cloud here, our volatility cloud. And that tells us that volatility is going in the, our favor. It's going in the, in the direction that we want it to go because volatility means you know, something going up and down rapidly or going up and down significantly. As traders, we make our money from stocks going up and down. If the stock just stayed flat, we wouldn't make any money, right? Unless you created a strategy uh, to make money for stocks being flat, which there are strategies out there for that. But as traders, we want to, you know, stocks to be volatile. We want them to go up and down, right? That's how we make significant amounts of money. So when we have the trend going upward in an upward direction, that tells us that, uh, you know, the, the volatility is going in our favor. So that's the second thing we want to look for. The third thing we want to look for is that 
our CCS squeeze down here. This this uh you know uh, squeeze here. His, his histogram comes with four different particular colors. One being dark red, uh, telling you that you have a, a strong uh, downward trend. Uh, faded red, telling you that you have a weak downward trend or potential upward trend. And then the bright green, telling you that you have broken into a nice upward uh, strong trend. Okay, and then faded green obviously it gives you a weak trend or a potential downtrend. So with the CCA squeeze, you also have a two clouds here as well. You have this uh, green cloud to the bottom and this red cloud to the top. As these bars start nearing this red zone to the top, this is starting to tell you that this stock is running hot, right? That this is basically getting into overbought territory. And once you're here in overbought territory, you want to start giving, keeping an eye out for a potential reversal. So these little red dots give you little periods of time where you could potentially be getting a reversal, kind of like a flashing red light when you go to a, a traffic stop. You know, that's kind of what this is. These red dots are telling you, hey, you know, this is, is getting hot up here. You know, it might be time. Or on the flip side, you have the green dots when things are getting a little bit oversold, you know, it tells you that the stock is oversold right now. It says, hey, you know, you might want to start looking at taking a potential entry to the upside, right? So uh, once you got the green trend going upward in your CCA squeeze, the next thing we want to look for here is in our CCA swing. Now on the CCA swing, we also have overbought and oversold levels. This top red line right here and this top bottom green line right here they both give you, and then this white level right here gives you basically like a, um, a support line, basically like a, a neutral zone. So this top red line tells you that, again, you're entering into overbought territory. Once you start seeing your CC swing start hitting this red line, you're going to look for this red dot or this crossover in the CCA swing. Um, Truman, one of my, my, my lead admin in the Discord, he came up with a very, very clever analogy for the CCA, the CCA swing. And basically, um, it was that if you think of it as like a ribbon, right, um, basically, when the ribbon's starting to, to, you know, the flat broadside is when things are, you know, basically trending in a direction, and then it'll start to get thinner as the ribbon starts getting ready to turn over. And once it starts turning over to the green side, you know, one side of the ribbon's red, one side of the ribbon's green. Once it starts turning over and starts going to the green side, you start looking to get an uptrend, right? So this is your ribbon, you know, it's, it's kind of a little wider down here. It starts getting thinner. And then right at the white level, the zero level here, our support level, it flattens out, it turns green, hits positive, and then it also triggers a another buy signal. So here we have four different indicators that tells us that we're in a buy signal. So we have the buy signal that started, it was flat, so we're not gonna enter. Then we get the uptrend here, right? So in this area here is where we're gonna look for a buy. We get all these things lined up right here, green, 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 all going positive, And that led us, led us to a, a upswing trade, right? Now, now Francis, I, I just wanna be clear because a, a lot of people might be going to their Yahoo Finance and they're gonna try to put in the indicator a CCA squeeze or a CC swing. Mm -hmm. That can't happen, y'all. I want y'all to understand no. this is an algorithm that these two gentlemen created. Right. So it's, it's specific to the cheat code algo. All right. Yeah. yeah. And, and then also, um, just to kind of, hey, I want to make, I can't see YouTube comments. So I want to make sure that they can see. Um, so, Troy, can you just look to see if, if yeah, everything if, looks if good it, over there. We got a, a lot of cheat code algo families in here. Um, everybody's looking pretty good in here right now. All right, so let me let me just explain for um, people that you know uh, might not be familiar exactly what's going on. So you you probably heard of stock charts before, um, and when you're looking at the chart, you look to see if a stock is going up or if a stock is going down. So, but this is like a more of a deep dive into the chart. So it's like you know nobody really knows how hot dogs are made until you actually work in like a butcher and you see like, oh, that's how they actually make hot dogs. It's like a mystery. So mm -hmm. for a long time, stock charts, it's kind of been like a mystery where you just see a regular stock chart just going up and down. But there's a lot of indicators that go into the stock charts. So what, he, what, what this is, is technical analysis um, on a high level, just kind of, you know, explained. And what they did was they kind of just combined a couple different things to make their own out algorithm um, we'll talk about that but for now i just want to kind of just let people know exactly what they're looking at so um i'm gonna back it up and ask you a couple questions 
<laughs> that people might not be familiar with. So when you say a stock is overbought, overbought, people always can they always get mad at me for um I didn't I never really was that good in grammar. So I you know brought bought whatever. Oh, good, but man. when <laughs> when you man. when you say the stock is overbought, um explain that to, to somebody that might not be familiar with what you're talking yeah. about. So essentially when you when, when something is overbought in the market, you know, you have things that basically go up. Like the stock market obviously things go up, things go down. Right. But we all know that things don't go up forever. Right. So when things start getting, you know, go up too fast, too quickly, and they don't have time to cool down, what happens is stock starts to get a little overstretched or over what we call overbought. If you think of it like if you were to take your a car, right, and you were to, you know, rev the engine for a really long time, you, you know, even if let's say you're racing and you're run, you're going at 120, 130 miles like me and Jay who were uh, earlier today in our new Maquis. Shout out to Fool. Congrats on that. Congrats. Uh, appreciate you. <laughs> appreciate you, man. We racing down the highway, right? Your, your engine will start to get hot, right? It'll start to get overheated, right? So you need to let the engine cool down in order for you to be able to take off again or to be able to, um, you know, to uh, to continue to driving in a healthy manner. So when the stock goes up, we don't want stocks to just go up in a straight line. You know, we typically we want stocks to do something like this, right? Go up like that, come down, go up like that, etc. Right. So this is how we a healthy stock movement looks something like this. It has time to cool down a little bit, goes up again, time to cool down, or even preferably even more so something like you know something like this where it'll go up. And then it'll kind of hang out for a little bit and then it'll make another. We want it to see it. We want to see a stair step. All right. And so what we want to do as traders is we want to catch it here. Right. And then we want to sell it here. And then we want to wait for, you know, we want to wait until we, we get confirmation that it's going to go again. And then we want to enter again here. So I'll give you a perfect example of that is right here where you see Tesla all the way back from, let's say, this point. So Tesla popped up. We had a nice, long, healthy run right here. It went up, right? And then we got a yellow candle, told us to slow down. Red uh, indicator, this triangle here said that we were, might be at the top. And then we had a nice little healthy consolidation point. What consolidation means is that the stock is basically just, they reached a level. And then basically buyers and sellers are basically just kind of battling with each other over a price. So right now, you know, the stock market is made of buyers and sellers. If more buy, people buy than sell, then you know the stock is going to go up and more people sell than buy the stock is going to go down and when you have this type of action where it's kind of in between basically buyers are saying that they want it to go higher sellers are saying no it's too high and it's kind of chills out like this for a little while and that's healthy so we want to you know we want to sell up here and then we want to let let the buyers and sellers battle it back out we don't want to be the, the buyers and sellers that are battling it back out because we don't know we don't have certainty what's who's going to win so we want to wait until we see an established winner which is where we get something like this. Now we we see that consolidation is breaking out. The buy signal comes in, and now we know that the buyers have taken control, and now we want to go ahead and hop back in for the next ride up, right? So we're going to take that next leg up, right? And then the whole thing kind of continues again on another on another level. So here again, you know, the buyers and sellers start to fight. Sellers say we want to take it lower. Buyers say no. Sellers say yes. Buyers say no. It starts to get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. And tighter. And so the buyers clearly win when they take over this level here. And now you break up and you go higher. So that's basically what, you know, what we're looking at. When, when we say overbought, it just means that the buyers have been in control for way too long. And it's about time for sellers to step back in. So we want to be able to identify that. Like, in, in, for example, in this point right here, where buyers took over all this time, we're in full control. And now here you get the CC swing crossing over right here at the, at the red line. Then you get the sell signal shortly after. Then you get the red dot. Everything is basically screaming at you. Says, "Hey, we're at the top here, right?" And now you start to get the, uh, you know, the clouds starting to confirm all that. And then we end up going into a little bit of a downtrend. And now, you know, buyers and sellers are doing it again, basically battling over, you know, where they want to take the particular stock, right now on a bigger scale. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think the perfect way to put it was this is an institutional tool for retail investors. I think you said that on the episode and it couldn't mm -hmm. be better. But when I hear the word overbought, in my mind, from a beginner standpoint, I think relative strength index, or if you go to RSI, yes. it's such, yes. such more, it's so more detailed and has a minute by minute component and an hour by hour component. So you yeah. can actually see, because I, I, I can recall, and if anybody's ever put an RSI 
it'll allow you to set the parameters, right? You can go 80, 20 or something like that. But it's like, yeah. if the number gets to 56, it's like, what does that even mean to me? Well, what is that? Let, let, let's break this so down. Here it is right here. So here's our RSI right here. Here's the relative but, strength but, index. But but let's, let's, let's just explain what the RSI even is. Yeah, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the RSI basically is a tool. It, it allows you to identify periods of time where the strength of the stock is, you know, get, reaching, like, like Troy said, overbought or oversold levels, right? Whether it's getting too high f- hot for itself or it's just oversold and it's it's gone too low for too long, right? And so essentially this, you know, you're looking at, like, like Troy was just saying, you can set the levels. Typically the levels are going to be set to 80 and 20, Um we're going to see the levels up here, 80 and 20. And then basically when you start to see the levels, very similar to how you got right here, right? Where you have the overbought levels and oversold levels. So here you have overbought levels up here where the RSI is, is hot, right? And then, you know, here again, you get another little overbought area here. And then you get overbought levels here and here, right? So basically the RSI is exactly that. And it, it seeks to give you an idea of where the stock is running too hot for itself, right? And so basically the same thing what we did here with the uh, CC swing, we took the same kind of concept, you know, trying to identify, you know, where the stock may be overbought and oversold. The issue that we have with the RSI, you know, personally was just that the RSI can, can stay overbought for a really, really, really long time. Right. Mm-hmm. So like and it can stay oversold for a really long time. So it's like if, even if you get past 80 at some point, you'll see some stocks that start running hot and they'll stay up, especially when you get to lower time frames. Mm-hmm. So basically what we did was we created two different overbought and oversold signals based on two different <clears throat> two different calculations so that when both of them are overbought. So when we have our because here in our CCS squeeze, this can stay overbought for a, very, a really long time as well which is why we use it in conjunction with the overbought levels in the swing. So when we start getting overbought in the swing, right, and we're also overbought in the, in the squeeze, now we know that we're, you know, we're really in overbought territory and that this is, we wanted it to only really trigger when it was truly, truly, truly overbought, right? And same thing with oversold levels. So if we go back here to the bottom of COVID-19, you know, you see here, like we, we got near our green line, we weren't even at the bottom of our green, but, it was right here where we got the crossover in our swing. We got the oversold uh, trigger here, you know, in the um, CCA squeeze right at the bottom of COVID-19. Got the buy signal right here and the, almost this, the very, very bottom candle on uh, the, the stock had gave us our yellow candle, which basically tells us that a trend is looking to reverse, right? So if we're in a downtrend and we get a yellow candle, this is think of this as like your your yellow light on a traffic stop or uh, a caution sign, right? We're getting this, you know, downtrend, a yellow candle pops up and says, hey, this downtrend is likely to come to an end and start reversing, right? But then the green indicator is seeks to tell us when we're at a potential short-term bottom. So when you get those two things together that line up, you says, hey, this trend is likely to reverse. And hey, this is likely a short-term bottom where we, you know, we, this is probably the bottom zone. Then you get, you know, oversold buy signal here. All these things start to give you pieces of information that start to paint a picture. It says, hey, this is a turnaround waiting to happen. Then you get the buy signal getting triggered. Then you get the uptrend. Then you get, you know, the uh, CC swing cross and positive. So now you have everything kind of screaming at you that you're good to go over the long term. And obviously, you know, that was that was the last of it, right? Yeah, so, I, I I think if we if and these things happen in, in real time, right? So as yeah. obviously the market's closed right now, but these signals are happening in real time, time as as these as the stock is moving and trading. And I think that that was a perfect analogy. If we think of it as a stoplight, right? Obviously, yeah. we know red means stop, or it means there's going to be a decline. But that yellow that yellow candle is so clutch because it gives you a fair warning. Look, mm-hmm. something could be happening here and a move could be happening. And I know some people are still asking, well, what was the CC squeeze and what's the CC swing? It's just an indicator to tell you whether the position has been oversold or overbought. And if you look at the colors scheme again, I'm just going to because I'm just going to reset it because I know some people are just walking in the room. If you look at the color scheme, it kind of gives you a signal of where it's going. So if you see that light red, right, that means that it, it's come out of a, a phase where it's been on a downturn and could be going to an upturn. So if you see that yellow candle, friends, if you move the ticket just back a little bit, you see that yellow candle right there, you can see that the, the, the color has changed, right? It went from dark red to a lighter red, right? right. Here comes the buy signal and now the, the red candles or the mm-hmm. red bars are actually starting to decrease in size. And as you can see, there's an upward trend on the stock. 
Right. And yep. um, just a quick addition to the general rule of thumb that um, Francis and I have been uh, using, especially that we found very clutch. Um, when he was speaking in regards to like, you know, um, a stock being in consolidation or chilling in a certain range for a little while, um, usually the longer the stock chills in that certain range or uncertainty bouncing back and forth between like buyers and sellers, the more explosive once it breaks out of that indecision, that move upside or downside is going to be. So you definitely want to keep your eye on that. The most recent one um, is uh, the Amazon trade. That's something that we're looking at for literally probably like six months oh, yeah. plus. Um, and like, you know, once it broke out, it broke out. Um, and shout out to, you know, Truman, our admin in the group, our community were able to catch that, capitalize on that trade. And, you know, we got a lot of happy traders out of that. But yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's definitely one of those. Yeah, so yeah, that trade Troy, right there. Troy, Troy was telling me about the Amazon trade. I, I didn't get in that. I wasn't a believer of that um, mm -hmm. situation. Um, but he told me, he told me when y'all announced it, he was like, hey, yo, um, Amazon, get the Amazon call. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, hey, hey, friends, I couldn't was two, There was two Amazon times. So there was a, a point where I called Troy, like, that was like two, what was like maybe two months ago? Yeah, we were looking at something together. And um, I think you gave me Amazon and I might have gave you one. And we were just like, oh, man, how do we miss this? All right, let's go. Yeah, and so, obviously, like, I think maybe two weeks, last week, Amazon went crazy again. Yeah, that was so. So the one last week was the one. So this is the one that I called Troy about. We was we were down here somewhere, and I I got Amazon right after we broke this level here, right. So I, I told Troy, I was like, "Yo, Amazon, right?" So I was in that thing from like thirty two up to thirty five, and then our admin team in in this court, Truman, our lead admin, he caught that joint like basically right, you know, right here at the bottom. It got everybody in the community to get into. We had people making. I think they went from like six hundred dollars to ten k yep. on this trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, right Francis, here. you know, can you do something? And I want to show people exactly why we had this like fifteen to twenty five minute call about about Amazon when we did. It was because we were right now we're looking at the daily chart, but we were looking at the weekly, right? And it hadn't had a. Let's go to that. Let's go to the weekly chart so we can actually see what. So if you look yeah. at this consolidation in the middle, right, you see that sell signal. That I think that's that's right in September, right when we had that the tech had a pullback, mm -hmm. and so it hadn't had a buy signal up until was that May or or late April. Yeah. So, we, so we, from, saw, we saw that swing go back into into the buy. We were like, wait, oh, it's coming right out of here. consolidation. We had a buy signal. Let's mm -hmm. go. Yep, that was this candle right here. So we caught that one right there, and then and we're like, okay, boom, this is this is gonna be a, a, a good one, you know what I mean? When this when this finally had broken out, and then we had the downturn come back and sec. But the thing is, basically, you know, what ends up happening is, you know, we now have triggered the buy zone, right? So now all we're looking for in this particular trade now is to see that this cloud starts to give us that upward direction. We have the same thing that we just talked about. Basically, we got crossover, and our our uh, CC swing starts to go up. We have our CCA squeeze start to go up in strong grain, which we can see we have the beginning makings of. So this is a nice long-term trade. For somebody like Rashad is talking about uh, being a long-term investor, long-term trader using options, this is a great way to do that when you're using higher time frames. Instead of looking at what's going on on the hourly or the, even the daily, look at what's happening on the weekly, and then you can kind of ignore the day-to-day -day price action that happens and just invest with a longer term perspective this is a great time for to be looking at 2023s and things like that when you have when you have you know signals coming on the weekly and then on the on the on the same note you know something we didn't even talk about yet is basically you know the take profit levels you know what i mean well, let's get into that <laughs> let's get in, let's get into it but before we before we get into that um because that's very important i just yeah. want to let people know that um yeah technical analysis so this is something that um a lot of times people just think that, you know, picking a stock is random and there's different ways to pick stocks. Like, you know, we talk about fundamental analysis, shout out to Wall Street Trapper, um, mm -hmm. shout out to Ian, who he's kind of a combination between fundamentals and tech and technical analysis. Um, but but there's different there's different tools in the toolbox. So so technical analysis is something that is extremely important. Not to say that you should only use technical analysis, even though you can, mm -hmm. especially the shorter time frames. Like if you're day trading, mm -hmm. it, it definitely can be something that you rely on heavily. Mm -hmm. um, but regardless, even if you're a long-term 
even if you're a long-term investor, you still probably want to at least be familiar with technical analysis because it'll allow you to buy at good price points as opposed to just buying randomly um, and just hoping you, you get at a good point. Also, also the thing with the thing with the technical analysis is that um, we have to look at like what are successful people doing. And if you go to any hedge fund or if you go to any um, investment bank or trading firm on Wall Street, they all have a department that is looking at charts all day. And by the, when they're looking at charts, they're looking at technical analysis. So anybody that says technical analysis is not real or it's something that is not true um, doesn't know what they're talking about because technical analysis is not new. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Uh, and the brightest minds and the wealthiest people that uh, invest other people's money um, have algorithms and they look at charts. So like I said, it's not for everybody, but if you want to take it to the next level or if you're interested in being a trader, um, you definitely at the very least should be familiar with technical analysis and, and, and educate yourself on it. And also one last thing I wanted to say was that um, this can be used for anything. So mm -hmm. it's not just stocks, uh, crypto, Currency. Hopefully, we get a chance to talk about that. But cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. um, stocks, stock options. So, depending on your investment that. strategy, you can use technical analysis and chart reading um, for anything. Forex trading. Um, so, yeah. But talk about uh, when knowing when to sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that, that's all. That's one hundred percent. And I think even if you're not. Like 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 Rashad's saying, even if you're not somebody's like, oh, I'm gonna be a day trader center. I'm sure most everybody on here bought some Dogecoin, bought some <laughs> Bitcoin, bought some AMC, some GameStop, all that type of stuff, right? right. I, matter of fact, we went we went called this uh, of what three times in the past two days. Had three different salespeople. We started talking to them about stocks and stuff yeah. like that. Every single one of them said the almost the exact same thing. Yeah, man, you know, I made. Four thousand dollars on some Doge coin. I bought some Doge coin, and you know, I didn't want to sell it because I thought it was going to keep going up, and now it's down. But I'm just holding it. I'm just holding it. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, right? And that's cool, right? That's that's fine. And people are getting into it. But the thing is, technicals can give you the, the, the idea and the concept of when to sell, when it's time to sell. There is signals out there that will give you an, a, a good frame of reference for this is probably a good time for me to sell or better yet, take my profits as I go, right? Which is kind of where we lead into, you know, this kind of factor where I'm going to go, go, I'm going to go to um, a trade that I'm in right now. So I, I, this is, uh, and even going on to the note of fundamentals and technicals lining up, Alibaba is a, is a very, very fundamentally strong company that has been beaten down technically for quite some time. Alibaba, this is Alibaba's chart here. Mm -hmm. And you can see that we've been in a, a strong downtrend for since, you know, October, 2020, right? So almost, almost a good uh, eight months here, we've been in a downturn. And basically Alibaba comes to a point, um, there's a whole bunch of other technicals I did here, um, even including, you know, right here, this is what we call a double bottom. Um, and this is at a key support level. And so the stock basically bounced one off of this level, bounced yes, twice. Can we make that screen a little bit bigger? Yeah. If possible? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Um, I'm trying to do that. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah that double bot, that's important. Yeah. So this is a, a strong technical level, support level. We got this, the, basically stock came down, bounced off of this level, bounced off of it again. And then, you know, utilize it. And so the cheat code isn't just something you can, you can just use it standalone, but there's other technical analysis that you can utilize, moving averages, um, you know, what we call structure, chart structure, things like that uh, to make it even stronger. So here I see a double bottom. I know Alibaba is a very, very strong fundamental company, right? It's it's undervalued. It's, it's crazy right now. They just had their massive amounts of sales coming in. They have a lot of political things going on with them, but all of that is kind of being resolved. So I entered this trade here 
right here uh, on this day when we we got this break above, right? I got the buy signal. I got the it was it was at a little small diagonal at the time. I saw that we got the crossover and I saw we were nearing our oversold level. So I went ahead and jumped into this trade right here on some. I think I got October uh, October and August calls here, right? And I put a good amount of money into this trade. Um, so I took it knowing that the company was strong fundamentally, knowing that the technicals are now lining up and then knowing that she code also is, um, is giving me all the signals. Right. And I wrote it all up, up until we hit our first take profit level. Right. So this take profit level, these levels right here basically tell us what price point makes sense for us to start selling some of our position. Right. Not that you have to get out of it completely, but you want to take some profit off the table on the way up. So eventually you're just playing with the house money, right? So you don't have your own capital at risk. And there's different strategies you can use to um, to, to make that happen. Um, but basically, you know, $228, it, the stock went from 218. You can see that it literally stopped exactly right at the 228 level on uh, this day here. And then the next day tried to break above and it just wouldn't hold. And so from these two bars in these two days, I made $92,000 on this trade, right? And that was a, um, about 120 something percent gain. I think I put on like 70 something K in that trade, but I made a bunch of money on that trade just from this point to this point, from that signal to that signal. And on top of that, I took my profits out. So now my, the only thing I got, even though it's a, a longer position than what we typically do in our, in our community and what we, we do in general um, as swing traders, um, you know, I took some profit off the, I took my, my profit off the table. So now all that's left here is the house money. What, you know, what, what, you know, what technically I took my original investment out and then now it's just the profit that's left in the trade. So regardless of what happens here, chances are I'm going to, you know, leave the table with some profit. So this is take profit point one. Now, if we break above this level again, then my next target would be take profit point two. And then I could take a little bit more out of the position, right? And I hit take profit point three, I could take a little bit more, et cetera, et cetera. And so we hit take profit point four. And at that point, I'll just leave it until I, I get a sell signal. So that's kind of how we stagger it out so that we're taking profits on the way up and not getting stuck holding a bag if the stock turns around and goes the other direction, right? We always want to want to think proactively, not reactively to the market. Right. If you're just kind of just being reacting to the market going up and down, you're going to find yourself in a world of stress and a world of hurt when, you know, things don't go your way. And then you're just hoping that it comes back and you make some money on it, which is what a lot of people are finding right now, even especially in the crypto market, is we reached this really kind of peak point in crypto, you know, some months ago. And I think we even talked about this on the last EYL call I was on with you guys. Uh, where we we're kind of talking about, you know, market cycles and stuff. And, and we're talking about, you know, crypto potentially topping out and, and having, a, um, you know, some retracement points. Not saying that long term it's not going to return or, or, or whatever, but everything goes in cycles. We have very bullish cycles and then, or, you know, very hot cycles where stocks, uh, crypto stocks and things like that are going hot and just and, and, and basically can't lose. Um, and then we have points where it gets it, it comes back down. Right. And and. Um, and then that's kind of where we want to start looking to identify. You can see here that I'm already, I was doing some uh, some uh, some technicals on, on Bitcoin. But if you look here, even on Bitcoin, this is the Bitcoin chart. So Bitcoin here we had been running hot, you know, all the way from, from, you know, all the way down from October, straight up, straight up. And then here we see that, you know, Bitcoin started to top out. We get a yellow candle. This is kind of what I'll be talking about when I say, you know, there's signals that'll tell you when it's probably time to sell. So here we get a yellow candle, red indicator on top. That was literally the very, very, very top of, and let me try to expand it because I know some people can't see too well on YouTube probably, but this was at the very, very peak top point of the Bitcoin run at 63K. 63,000, 64,000 right there? Yep, yeah. So that was that very candle. The very next, you know, subsequent candles we got, the sell signal tried to make a little comeback, didn't didn't hold too well. Got the sell signal again. Now, when you get a sell signal, there are ways to make money on stocks and crypto going down, right? There's shorting, there's options contracts and things like that that you can get to benefit from the stock going down. So, because of that fact, when you get a sell signal, the take profit points will be showing to the bottom. So, in this case, on Bitcoin, had you shorted Bitcoin at this sell signal up here, once we had gotten some momentum going down. Your first take profit point was at 42.8. Next take profit point was at 37.5. And then you can see here now, 
You're th- it, this BTC literally is is fighting this third take profit point, right? So, and this take profit levels, these are based on technical levels. It's not just, you know, random numbers that we just threw out there and said, you know, take profit, whatever it is. These are based on technical levels, support and resistance levels. I think, Francis, one of the things we discussed kind of, and I want people to really understand is that Bitcoin uh, and cryptocurrency in, in, in a whole, it moves so fast and it's so volatile that even when we look at the day chart, it, it if we're day trading, this probably won't be the best chart for us to look at. We might even want to go down to the four hour, three hour. And if you're really good, maybe the one hour chart. So if you're in and out yeah. of these trades. So can, can we can we well, show them how, what that looks like on a four hour or three hour chart? Because it is yeah. very volatile and it, it doesn't close. Right. So like even now mm-hmm. this is live. Right. Because yes. cryptocurrency doesn't have a four thirty or four o'clock closing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the way we the way we teach it is this. If you are a uh, day trader, you're actually going to be in the minute charts, right? So as a day trader, if you're buying in the morning and selling before close of the market or in the same day t- time, you're going to be down in the 15 minute charts because you're going to be looking at, you know, exiting and entering relatively quickly. You just want to kind of take these, you know, short swings. You get in from here up to this point. And you're out. Let's say you had 35K, you bought a whole BTC here, you're going to sell it right here at 36, make you $1,000, right? Whatever it may be, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to be, and that's a whole different set of technicals. So the shorter time frame you go, the better t- at technicals you're going to be. And and the Chico was designed for swing trading primarily. So for those of you who don't know, day trading is, you know, buying and selling in the same day. You know, those are the people you see, they got two, three monitor screens they're looking at things all day long that's literally like a job but you are there at your desk clocking in and the guys that are in our group the community and the ladies shout out to the ladies lounge and um in the group you know they're in there they're clocked in 9 30 live trading they're all trading together taking trades doing their thing until 4 30 you know market closes and they're taking trades together doing that stuff that's day trading right swing trading on the other hand you're, you're buying and you're holding for two days, three days, five days, seven days a week. Right now, the trade I'm talking about with Alibaba, That's a. Uh, I took that trade on, I think, Thursday last week. I'm still in it right now. That's a swing trade. So the goal of swing trading is I want to take from multiple days, I want to enter in my trade here, and I want to exit my trade here over a period of, of however many days it takes for this trade to work out until I get a sell signal. All right, And then you have what uh, Rashad's talking about, where he's talking about long-term investing, utilizing, or long-term trading, utilizing um, options as a as a form of leverage <clears throat> to make more, more capital. <clears throat> so, um, the shorter the time frame you go on, the more accurate you know. So, if we go back to that example of a weapon, right? You know, and being on a battlefield, the shorter time frame you are, think of your snipers. You know, the people who are really out there with those sniper rifles, and they, these guys have to be pinpoint accurate. The shorter the time frame you go, and, and the, the shorter the time frame you go, the better of an accurate marksman you are, right? Then you got people that are more of your, you know, cavalry who are out there just, you know, doing whatever they're doing, and those are going to be more like your swing trading. You know, it's it's typically a little bit on the safer side, you know, or less at least less um, intense, right? So if you're a day trader, you're going to be in this minute time frame. Swing traders, short term swing traders, you're going to be in like the hourly, four hour. You're going to be looking for swings that are going to last a little bit of time, right? So if you take a signal off of the hourly, you know, this may last, you know, from a ma- either majority of the day or uh, particularly on stocks, it'll last, you know, a day, two days, three days, right? So you can look at the hourly, you can look at the four hour, two hour, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. Preferably you look at all of them to understand where you are in a particular cycle. So here's a four hour on the four hour chart. Here we got the yellow candle, with the green indicator right here at the bottom, right? That's telling us this trend is likely to slow down. Then we get the green candle telling us, hey, we, we might be at a short-term bottom, right? And as you can see, it's not always gonna hit like that. Here you got a yellow candle, green indicator. It went up, it went up significantly, you know, for a day or two and then came back down, right? Same thing here. We got another yellow candle, green indicator. This one failed. This one was a successful one, popped up. This one right here marked a good bottom right here. And this is, again, another double bottom situation. So here you got that signal. So you would have been looking, waiting for an entry point. You could have taken that signal, you know, right here when you got the buy. And then you could have rode this out for this is January. This is June 27th that you got the signal. And it lasted all the way up until June 30th. So it's like a two-day holding period, right? So, you know, that's kind of how it works is depending on, 
And this is why I tell people education is everything. Because a lot of people will run out, go get the cheat code without education, and they'll just, you know, try to use it however they, they've been typically trading. And they may not find success in it because they don't understand how it works. And we teach, you know, how to use it for free. You know, to the actual classes to learn how to use the cheat code. We have free classes Mondays and Thursdays. And then we have stock market, stock option education on a day-to-day basis for beginners, advanced the whole nine yards almost every day in the group that's part of our premium group. So, Francis, um, can I give, can I give yeah. him one that, that I did? I know you just did the Alibaba. Can I give him one that I did? Yeah, for sure. Let's pull up DDD. And shout out to my brother, Bim, who uh, had a crazy run up. I think he went up 3,000% on DDD. Sheesh. Yeah, that's one of those. Yeah, shout out to him. And, I know and, I know he's watching right and, now. And just to clarify, when you talk when you talk about swing trading, you can swing trade options as well. I saw somebody saying you yeah. talk about swing trade. Not, not oh, absolutely. It's, that's why I'm it's about not, to show him right now. <laughs> no, no, I just, I just want to, I just want to let them know that whether you're day trading, swing trading, or long term, like, well, maybe not long term because the options you can only do for like two or three years. But this, this, this is applicable to options or regular stock or crypto. Um, so swing trading has nothing to do with whether it's an option or whether it's a regular stock. Right. It's just the amount of time that you're staying in the trade. Exactly. And this, I'm glad you said that. That was a perfect segue because this is actually what I did with DDD because like I said, BAM got the 3,000%. So DDD became on my radar. Around mid-May, it had pulled back. So if you even go back, you can see it right in here. I think it's around March. It had a crazy pullback. Yeah, so there it is. That, yep, yeah. There goes that pullback. So it pulled back. It pulled back. I'm watching for a long-term buy. I see it around May. So we get to like mid-May, I think we got that buy signal. But if you zoom in a little closer, it, our ribbon hadn't changed. It hadn't changed. It hadn't switched over yet. And so I waited to watch the stairs go up on the chart. And so I caught the buy signal, rolled it all the way up. I, I made an option call for, I'm looking at it right now. I made the option call for August 21, right? Right around there. Yep. Got it in there. Made it for 2021, bought like 20 contracts. A few weeks ago, I think we had a sell signal. I shaved off five because it was a tick profit point. Mm-hmm. And then lo and behold, they have a huge announcement that they have an advancement in, uh, new technology for uh, surgery, uh, I think breast implants and air implants, because it's 3D, it's a 3D printing company and boom, okay. stock runs up. I, I think my option call was at for $30. And so overnight it shoots up to 39. I go up 317% mm. in two days. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So like, when you know how to, when you know how to use the technical analysis and, and this is like, when we say the cheat code, like this is really the cheat code. Literally, I punched in DDD because he had said it. I waited my turn. I was patient with it. Like Ian says on Market Mondays all the time, I'm always looking at charts because I'm always looking for a place to, mm-hmm. to find a game and mm-hmm. uh, knocked it out the box with this one. This was a good one. I want to go to question and answers, but before that, I want to um, also, because uh, I know a lot of people are interested in crypto, mm-hmm. and I said... Um, I don't know if this was two months ago or three months ago, but at the time Ethereum, I think was like sixteen hundred dollars. Yep, yep. Um, and we did a uh, we did a, a call for EYL University with um, with Francis, mm. and he was he was going over um, Ethereum's chart. And I was already I'm a I've been investing in Ethereum for years, but I, mm. you know I add to my position periodically, and I was on the fence whether I should put money in or not, and um, you know just going over that call with him it kind of just confirmed to me that it was a good time to put money in. So mm-hmm. I put a large amount of money into Ethereum then, but not only did I do that, I called MG the mortgage guy and I, I told him <laughs> Back. like, yeah, I'm going to put some money into Ethereum. I just got off the call with Chico, looked at the chart. I feel confident about it. And he had never invested in cryptocurrency ever. So he had to set up a Coinbase account and really like, you know, so he like, how much should I put in? I'm like, whatever, you know, I mean, I, I can't tell you how much to put in, but whatever you feel comfortable. So I think he put like 10,000 in because he put it on Instagram. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say that. And um, long story short, we all know when Ethereum hit 4,000. So and that was in like a couple of weeks after it went from like 1,600 to like, or 1,800 to like $4,000. So he was saying that he was mad that he didn't put more money in. Um, so obviously... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it works on crypto and stocks. Um, but yeah, let's, 
Less. Oh, that's that's Ethereum chart right there. Yeah, that's yeah, it right yeah. there. So I'm, I'm even about to I'm, okay. I'm about to say this real quick. So even when we uh when, when we were talking about when we first came on, I was like, yo, there's signals that'll tell you when it's time to potentially you know start deleveraging or de de risking yourself by selling certain amounts. Of, like what Troy did with saving five off and taking the profit off the table. You know, here we're in Ethereum. You know, we start getting the yellow candles up, and as a matter of fact, I'm sure if I put you know we have something called reversal bands here. Where the reversal bands kind of tell us when we're starting to get too again, kind of very similar, overbought or too hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T tell them about those reversal bands and like by color, because this this is important yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what happens is when you when you get into the reversal bands, when you're in the yellow bands, you have a a, a good chance of reversing back to the downside. When you're in the red bands, you have a extremely high chance that you're going to be reversing back to the downside at some point. When you get to the blue bands on the bottom side, you have a chance of bouncing higher a little bit, right? And then when you get to the green bands, basically you can mortgage your house and go put it all in on it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, not literally, but you feel me. Um, so, you know, that's basically how that works. So if we were looking at this and we're looking at Ethereum, we're like, okay, we need to find a place where we it's time for us to kind of scale out. You know, here we're getting into our yellow bands. We get a yellow candle in the yellow bands, right? We see that we're, we're overbought here in our uh, CCA squeeze. We have start getting our red dots right here on this candle right here, right? As well as the yellow candle as well. They both got the red dot. And then most importantly, the CC swing, which is designed to really only go overbought when it's really, really overbought. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you break out of your overbought zone, which is very rare for the CC swing um, over here, all in this zone here. So this literally marked an entire top period where we could have been taking profits, selling out this and a third and okay. waiting as opposed to Right. As opposed to, you know, a lot of people take on the mentality when we get these big runs in crypto that is going to go keep going on forever, which it's not, you know, uh, un, you know, because you see things like Dogecoin happening and things like that. But again, it's better to miss or uh, miss out on higher profits than to wait too long and lose out on what you had. Right. Burden the hand, two in the bush. Right. We want to balance risk and reward in this game. So that's how we stay here long. Then you get the sell signal shortly after. And then obviously then we had the big sell off in Ethereum and all the crypto assets. And then ironically now, not even ironically, but now we have a period of time where you we now have a buy signal triggered. We have our overbought sell signal that got triggered. I mean, overbought, uh, oversold buy signal uh, telling us here we got a you know low trigger yellow candle. We got the crossover right here at our support. You know our cheap, our CC swing support at the zero line, right? And then we have a nice momentum going. So this you know this is uh, me personally. I'll be looking at a time to take a, uh, an entry into something like that myself. I'm not saying everybody should go out running. Don't tell everybody to go say it. I, I told you to go do it and you lost money. I'm just saying that that's how the system works. And that's where, you know, if me looking at it as somebody that would be taking a trade, if I was looking at entering into Ethereum, which I, I obviously am um, all the time, this is where I would look to average down. If I bought up here, I'd want to average down, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of how that whole system works. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's let's get into. I was gonna go over AMD, but I think I, um it'll be a good time like, to get some questions. Um, well, actually, can can we can we do AMD just real real? Yeah, you gotta real, love hate relationship with like, AMD, my guy. I have a substantial <laughs> amount of money. I put a substantial amount of money in AMD. Yeah. Um, and I was down bad on AMD like for a few weeks, mm -hmm. uh, but I just crossed over positive um for AMD. Yeah. I have an option for AMD. I have a $97 option for AMD in, from 2023. Um, and one of the reasons why I stayed encouraged is, A, I believe in AMD. Uh, I believe in the whole space. But B, also on a cheat code call, um, we mm -hmm. was talking about the consolidation and um, we, we was going over the consolidation period that AMD was going through. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you know consolidation, you know that at some point in time, good companies break out of consolidation. Mm -hmm. So are we at the breakout of consolidation point right now? Yeah, well, so AMD has some pretty long term. It has multiple consolidation rates. So I'll kind of show you. And I, we went actually, we went been over this uh, a couple of times on EOIL calls, we, you know, the Wednesday calls, right? We used yeah, to yeah. AMD. Yeah. I think it was the very first, the very yeah, first chart we did was. Point. Yeah, because we talked about how it has really clean, uh, you know, support and resistance zones. So, you know, here you have one up here. You have another one uh, down in this area here. Right. So we have broken out of a particular level. Right. 
which is that level. Yeah, so basically we're talking about you can see how the stock basically bounces in between this these areas, right? And then it'll kind of bounce in this area. So it has these levels, right? And et cetera, et cetera. So if you're watching, this is why I say, you know, the technical analysis will, will line up with the cheat code as well. Because here, if you had drawn your support levels, right, and you knew that this was support, you know, you can see here you got the yellow candle, green indicator combination right at the support level, right? So this is what we call confluence. You know, yellow candles, green indicator has nothing to do with the support at all, but they all happen at the same area. So that gives us additional confirmation that, hey, this is likely going to be a bottom here because it's happening right at the support level, right? So now the stock kind of stays down there for a little bit. Here you get the buy signal triggered shortly after uh, the, you know, yellow candle, green indicator combination. Buy signal gets triggered. Let me actually clear it up a little bit. It's so crazy because uh, our premium uh, premium guys, uh, admin guys, made like 200% on AMD today. Yeah, yeah they played that. Yep. Uh, so here you get the upswing here, you know, crossover again, going green, right? Everything's kind of lined up. Now, once you enter the trade, you got everything going for you. You've already been watching it because you see the yellow candle green hit to K. You know it's that support. Now you're watching for the buy signal. And this is another thing that people don't realize that people, a lot of people don't do. You got to have patience in this game. Just because you get one signal doesn't mean you go out and run and go all into it. You know what I mean? You need to be, be patient. I don't see what the what the chart is telling you. This is telling me, hey, this is a potential bottom area where the support is probably not going to get much lower than this. I could start getting into the position little by little, but I'm really going to trigger my buy signal once I got the, the buy and the momentum behind me. Now I'm going to use the take profit points to give me an idea of where my targets are. So I would have entered in here at $78 when we got this entry, right? So you would have rolled your contracts up from $78 all the way up through and through. Now at 83, I'm going to shave some off the table. Just like Troy said, he took five contracts off. I got 20 contracts here. Take five off of TP1. Take five off of TP2. Take five off of TP3. Now we have TP4. And now I'm, I'm you know, I I'm mean, I'm might take some off here or I'll, if it goes past TP4, maybe I'll just wait for a sell signal until, you know, because at this point, you're just playing with house money. So you might as well see how high it's going to go, right? But you can see here, as we started to near TP4, you know, we, we we slow down. We didn't really get much past it, right? So every time we break one of these levels, that's important to take note of. And now if AMD just out of the blue randomly crash, we're not going to be sitting there crying our eyes out about how much we could have had because we've been taking our profit all the way through the entire time, right? And with options contracts, it's very important because options contracts are very volatile. They will go up and go down very significantly. You can be up a lot one day and then down the next day, even though the stock just made a small 1% move, all right? So uh, it's very, very key to make sure you have, you, you're taking these things into consideration. Yeah, so let's let, let's do this. Let's go into question and answer. Before that, I um, want to reset the room. Um, so yes, this was technical analysis explained, very high level. Um, your lesion, man, you really... Uh, it's a platform that um, really is getting better and better. I feel like the platform is getting better and better because we get to highlight some of the brightest minds in our community. And these two young brothers um, are extremely impressive. They started their own fintech company, Cheat Code Algo, and um, they created their own proprietary software. So this is this software is for people that are interested in becoming day traders, swing traders, um, traders in the market. And, you know, all of the things that we just want to know for the last 45 minutes are things that people are um, implementing and, and making money. But like I said, it's not a get rich quick. As Francis says, you still have to educate yourself. You have to dedicate your time and energy into it. That's extremely important. But if you're going to be serious about it, you have to have the right tools. It's like you can't you can't build a house with a hammer like you have to invest in the right tools right. to actually be if you're going to be a serious carpenter you have to if you're going to be a serious painter you have to actually you know invest in the right paint and the right paint brushes it's not just like okay go to the dollar store and just get a random paint brush and i'm gonna be a picasso um right. so the same thing with uh trading and investing you have to invest in the tools so um so yeah so what we did with them we announced it on the episode uh, we have a bundle deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike, if he can pin it in the YouTube comments, I uh, believe, what's, what's the what's the name of the webinar? Uh, EYL, I'm going to put it in the chat right Central now. EYL CC bundle. 
I'm putting in the chat right now. E-Y-L-C- E-Y-L-C-C bundle.com. And it's, what it is is $500 off of um, their bundle, pretty much like their bundle package of everything. So that's they actually uh, informed me that that's actually going to change because the demand for it came in so heavy after the episode. It kind of like, you know, just just put heavily uh, demand on on the services. So in yeah. order to keep the, the customer service good and everything, uh, they have to rework the pricing on that. So long story yeah. short, that's going to change a little bit. And um, the pricing on that is going to be higher than what it is now. But right now, it's the cheapest place to get it five hundred dollars off um, of the price, which you can't get that price from anywhere. So if you're interested like I said, we put the link in the description of this video. We also put it in the YouTube. I think that that's good for another 24 hours, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Francis, just tell them exactly what that, what that bundle. Yeah. Is. So the bundle there, so actually it's, it's, it, it, there was a crazy demand after the, uh, the episode. We actually had to shut down all our other marketing and everything else because we had to like deal with all the incoming traffic. So it was kind of crazy after that. But the, the real reason why you know, the price increase is actually because we are also including a, a lot of new programs into what we do. And all of our current bundle deal members, they don't know this yet, but they are they're going to be getting a whole lot more as well. So basically what we're doing is we're, we're really kind of been, you know, investing in, um, you know, building out our other programs, our Forex, our futures, our crypto programs. So that basically, you know, when you come into the, the, the community, you're not just learning stocks and options, right? Even though that's our biggest program, that's our biggest group. We really want people to be able to be masters of, the, you know, the financial markets as a whole, right? So we want people learning about the bond market. We want, we want you to be able to, to make the same kind of money we make on stocks. We want people to be able to make on corn futures and oil futures, you know, um, things like that. Uh, gold futures, Forex, you know, U.S. dollar just made some moves today. You could take advantage of those type of moves, right? So, you know, we're going to be building out more robust programs. And so our bundle deal folks, we're, you know, we're going to be calling it our all-in membership, where we're going to be bringing in new, commu- new communities, new instructions, new classes over the next, uh, you know, few months where it's going to be all inclusive, right? So that's kind of why the price is really going up because it's going to be including a lot more value. So when you come into our program, if you come into our program, please do not come to half-ass. You know, we will, our, our people in our program will take care of you. We have all of the help that you can, our guys are in there 24-7. I mean, they, they are literally around the clock, you know, at nighttime, then the morning time, if you have a question, you need help, you are a beginner, we have all the resources for you to really kind of master what, you know, the financial markets as a whole. And uh, people who come into the program just, you know, they, they, lives change. Yeah, lives change. Hey, yo, Francis, so, I, I, shout, shout out to, I think this is Keo on YouTube. He said that yeah. Amazon trade paid for the next 10 years. So he good. Bro, the yeah. Amazon trade was legendary. Shout yeah. out to man, Keo, man. Yeah. That Amazon yeah. trade literally, we had people made like six, some people made 60K, 80K. It, it wasn't, yeah. Figures in one day. Yeah. yeah. When the rest yeah, of the market was just chilling, it wasn't even like it was like AMC going crazy or the whole market is going up. It was uh, just a regular old day. You know what I mean? Know, it was yeah, really good right. trade. Yeah, yeah. And, and shout out to Chrissy. Chrissy, I know of you. I don't know you, but I've heard a lot about you. Um, yeah. um the ladies lounge. Chrissy's vicious. Chrissy's He's in the, the YouTube chat team. too. Yeah. I've heard nothing but great things about you, Chrissy. So shout out to you. She's one of the admins on the cheat code. Y'all, y'all ready for some questions? Yeah. Well, real, real quick, I want to cover real, with oh, the yeah, bundle. Yeah. What else? Yeah, yeah. So, so bundle bundle deal is our educational programs is level one, level two, level three. All of our our educational programs. Um, yeah, we're changing over to a new system called the belt system. So you'd be white belt, yellow belt, green belt, black belt. So it'll be a series of classes you take, you know, coming in as a beginner, start a white belt, you go to yellow, you go to green, you go to black. So it's nice and systemized throughout the educational process. Um, then we have uh, our you know, 10K challenges included in that, you know, where basically we put a thousand dollars into account. We try to change it, trade it up to $10,000. doesn't always happen. It's not always successful. Don't think that it's going to be guaranteed, but it's a program in which you basically kind of get your hand held to learn how to do, you know, the type of trades that we take. Our admin trades also, we have our live trading room, which Chrissy, Keo, Bucky, Pablo, all the folks, all our admin team, they're in there day, like literally in from the morning to, to market close doing live trades on Zoom. You clock into that, 
you follow their trades along, you know, what they're doing, ask questions why, why the trades are being taken, whatever it may be. And then we have in the afternoons, we have our educational classes. We also have master class where it's designed to take you from beginner to advanced trading in eight weeks. So it's basically designed to kind of shorten your, your learning curve down to eight week time frame. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's most yeah, of it. Yeah, so we're going to be. Gives you yeah. access to the premium and the cheat code tool as a software for a year. Oh, and the cheat code, yeah, and the cheat code for the year. Hey, well, what about the text messages? I started getting text messages recently, man. What's, what's, yeah. what's that about? Yeah. So the text messages, so you get with the 10K channels, those texts, those uh, trades go straight to your phone. So when the trade goes out and, you know, let's say they're taking a trade on whatever it may be, they send it out directly to your phone. So it comes to you via text. And then that way you can follow along and take the trade. Got to be, you know, with, with, just, with, with the program, though. It's not, you know, again, it's not something to kind of half-ass. Um, you want to be you aware. Miss it, you catch the next one, it's on you, you know. Like, those who missed the Amazon trade, like they were saying, you know, you know, hey, I missed the Amazon trade. What happened? It's hey, you just right. gotta be on your toes. You know what I mean? Be on your toes. You gotta catch catch the right. next one. Yeah, right, that's, some, that's what the whole program. Cool. And we're gonna be replicating again the same thing. We're, right now, we're working on is getting the same type of thing to you know the futures futures game, forex game, crypto game. We're gonna kind of replicate the same thing. Classes, live trading, live calls, things like that. Um, live classes are you do have recording access to recordings for all the classes that we do as a premium member. You got you got recorders that we did classes we did from last year. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, it's a it's a robust program. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll talk about it again at the end. But yeah, let's get some let's get some questions if we can. Let's do this it. is another part of EYL University where every class um, people always ask like, what's the difference between EYL University and a podcast? So. You get the not only you know more of a hands-on experience with the learning, but you get to ask questions too. So, if we can open it up to questions, Troy. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna come to uh, Kareem. What's going on, Kareem? Uh, you've been unmuted. Uh, uh, What's going on? I know that face. Uh, <laughs> he gets me oh, every man. time with this picture, man. I think he's really. I think it's live and it's never live. <laughs> 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 I can't even keep a straight face when I ask this question, but um, a hey, hey, Quay, how do you go about picking such dope admins, man? Because your man. admins are some yeah. of the best people that I've come game. in contact with. Yeah, man. It's, it's the game. Listen, energy, man. Energy, you're literally bro. a direct reflection of who we are. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you're not about the work, you're not about the, you know what I'm saying, do the work. You're here to absorb education, uh, student minded, you know what I'm saying? Just a genuinely good person as well. That's very important for our community. Um, you know, that's that's really the qualifications. Like you just have to know your stuff, be willing to go out there, learn the information, also be willing to be super genuine and be good and give back to the community. It's a each one teach one in our community and each one teach one. Really, Listen, most of those guys, that. most of those guys started with us as students. As people, you know, yeah. Pablo, Pablo, both of Pablo's, Keo and Bucky, yep, all were with us from the very, very beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like near the near the very beginning. You know, they're kind of like the second wave of folks that came in, and they all just you know were just absorbing every day back then i used to teach class for free like just every day just you know just in there shooting the shit doing stuff wow and a yeah. small group and then it just the, the energy you know they're they were there helping to like build it and do things with it that we weren't even thinking about and so you know they just really you know took it took advantage of it and, and the same thing with um you know the people who, other people who came on like chrissy we met chrissy on uh on clubhouse wow. and, and chrissy was just the energy was always in. We no, first, no, first, first, yeah. first, first, first touched on on Clubhouse. You know, she was just with us. Yeah. We, we, we got to invite Chrissy to our chat. See, I heard, I heard this Zoom or that situation. Y'all, y'all have no idea. Chrissy's energy keeps that Zoom and <laughs> the live <laughs> trading. Like, yeah. I'm here, I'm sitting here. I can I can just give a testimony for Cheat Code real quick because I was, I'm originally part of EYL. So, but I learned about Cheat Code through EYL. And I've been a part of EYL since I think late April. And the amount of things that I've learned since late April, um, I've traded options for a couple of years now, but I never used the technical side of it. It was always the fundamental side and it was always looking at long-term options. And I always wondered, how do I gain enough capital to be able to put that money into the long-term options on the fundamental side of it? And I always wanted to do short-term options, but I just didn't know how to go about it. And I kept losing money, losing money, losing money. So joining Cheat Code 
within this first three months, I can tell you I already paid for my whole cheat code within the first three months. That Amazon trade alone, I paid for my uh, my membership. And mm-hmm. with the trades that I get from the admins and then getting up at five o'clock in the morning doing charting with TJ and some of the other mm-hmm. people that we do the work with. And it's not even just the admins, it's just the people in that community mm-hmm. that are so willing to help. Yeah. There's just so many people that I could just shout out that are so willing to help in the morning. You got you got regular people, Ty and Kim, they're up doing charting in the morning. You got so many people. That community is great. So I just want to give you guys your flowers now and say you guys have really developed a great community that you can be proud of because I know you guys don't always have the time to be in there, but yeah. you guys have left that community into such great hands. Man, I appreciate that, man. A lot. Yeah, man, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't been in the disco for like two months, at least two months, man. I haven't even. Yeah. It's just I've you been know, because you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah I heard, I friends. I heard yeah. when you come in, it's like quiet. Like, wait, Francis has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. We that's we not. hear from Francis when we doing something wrong in the Zoom chat. That's, <laughs> that's very rare, though. Very very rare. Nah, man. Shout out, shout out to you, bro. Appreciate you, Chris. Yeah. Who we got next? Let's see. Let's go to my man, Mac. Mac, what's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. What's going on? Oh, what's up, my guy? Everything good? No, bro. Oh, I didn't mean to own uh, to raise my hand, but what's up with the plug, though? <laughs> Yo, Mac. <laughs> Mac, I'm about to do something special this weekend, man. Stay, stay Yo, close I, to your Instagram page, all right, bro? Yeah, I, I like the background, though. <laughs> oh, you see what's up there. You know what's up there. All right. A little union action. Appreciate you, bro. Mac, always watching my sneaker game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's go to uh, Philip. Philip, we coming to you. Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. What's going on, Philip? How's it going? I appreciate you guys. I have a question um, about some charts. I just wanted to. Uh, I got a lot of success immediately getting taken advantage of the indicators because there's so many. When you do line them all up, they really do help, especially when you're already fundamentally sound. Um, today, I got shook out. I know we're not supposed to be in trades during the lunchtime swing, but I got shook out of CCIV, and I really mm-hmm. want to get back into it because I'm long-term bullish on it. I sold at around 26, an option I had, and it ran to 29, and I was just so upset when I got back on screen. I, you know, I wanted to try to get another entry because I'm very long-term bullish on it. So if we could maybe take a quick look at that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you just off the bat, like, you know, when you're long-term bullish on something, or if you, let's say you just met, you exit a trade, if you miss a trade, right? Uh, when something is, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a beauty. That's a beauty. I think it just, just started taking off. Yeah. Because what I was, what I was going to say to you is when you miss a trade, you know, you just want to kind of, sometimes you just got to let it get by you until there's another consolidation period where you can take a re-entry, right? In this yeah. case, it looks like you're pretty solid. Typically, what you see in situations like this, you just got a clean breakout, right? Unless you get like a massive gap up, which I don't know, if, you know, CCIB can be good for gap gap, gap ups and things like that. But typically, what you find is like the next morning between 9.30 and 10.30, there'll typically be like a dip. Right, there'll be like a, a significant dip at some point throughout the day, right? So if you're looking for a re-entry into a particular trade like this, and you're you believe this is bullish, which to me this is a very bullish setup, it looks like it definitely wants to take out some of these TP levels. So it could be a nice yeah. swing. It could be a nice swing here. Uh, you know, I would look tomorrow. Personally, what I would do, I wait till tomorrow morning. I wait until, uh, first thing in the morning, see how it acts. Wait for until I find some type of dip. Right, I'd go into my chart in early in the morning. I set my chart to five minutes, fifteen minutes, and I sit there and I watch it. Right, and I watch it and I watch it. I will probably throw it on my, you know, on my little. I probably do something like that, and I will have my other trades that I'll be watching for the day, and then I'll just sit here and I watch. I wait for the dip. Right, and so what you're gonna want to look for here is you're gonna want to look for the stock to retrace to the. You see how like. You see how when uh, when it broke higher here, it came back and it it, it it came back and it basically touched this green cloud level and then it bounced yep. off, it bounced off of it, right? So that's a potential dip point that you wanna you want to look for a, re, a potential reentry, right? If you're gonna reenter the stock, now I typically don't like chasing the stocks, but if it's something that you really want to reenter, you know, wait for that type of dip or throw on your EMAs, right? Uh, let me let me say that. that virtual cloud looks good on that. I was just looking at that chart actually. Mm, yeah. Yep. So reversal cloud probably probably would be sweet because it, it looks like it's been 
kind of hanging out for quite some time. So basically, you know, you're gonna be, we're gonna want to look here for you know any type of retracement, right? So I'd also throw in my EMAs, uh, probably put on my 200500 right? So typically, when you get any type of run, you're gonna see that it's gonna it's gonna come back and it's gonna bounce off of your 20 EMA or your 50 EMA or one of your EMAs, right? So I like to have all of them on there. This is where you're gonna to wanna to look for an entry. When you come back and you see that it's hitting one of its EMAs, you're gonna look for a re-entry on that EMA because that's a healthy run. Now CCIV, you know, last, last time I remember CCIV running, that thing just took off and, you know, just didn't really, it wasn't like a healthy run. It just was like a just straight up and straight up shot. Um, but, you want to exercise some patience because you don't want to get caught chasing. You don't want to get find yourself hurt. But if it's something you want to take a long term entry, wait till you get a retracement back to one of your EMAs, and then you get some type of bounce signal like a bullish hand, hand uh, hammer, uh, bullish engulfing, yellow candlestick, something that tells you that this uh, this red line or uh, orange line, twenty or fifty EMA is going to hold up, and then take your entry from that point. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it. It just depends on the price action tomorrow. So, I mean, just, yeah, just, I'll just stick around in, in the live trade. You're already in the group. So, you know, any one of the admins can definitely advise you on that live while you, you know, when the trading day starts, you know what I mean? That's Copy awesome. that. Much, much appreciated. And uh, I'll definitely add those uh, EMAs on the indicator screen. I haven't been using them, but I do like uh, when I do use them. Yeah. Uh, I love the language in here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> appreciate you, Philip. Appreciate GM. y'all. Yep. All right, let's 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 hear from the ladies. Let's go to Nia. Nia, we coming to you. Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. What's going on, Nia? Hello. Can you hey, hear me? You, yeah, we hear you perfectly. Okay, so I just have a, a quick question. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with swing or day trading. Um, I have a four hundred one k that ended up becoming a Roth IRA with E Trade. I was wondering if I should take that out and put that into another trading platform or should I just trade on E-Trade? I don't necessarily know if you should be, if you should trade your um, retirement account. Um, I think that we have to have different, um, different pools of investment dollars that we use different things for i mean that's just my own personal strategy so like for me personally like my retirement account is kind of set i never really touch that and then you know i have long-term investments which i never touch and then i have a trading account which you know that's i'm actively you know whether it's options or um you know crypto and more short-term plays like that so i mean you could you could you could put options in your in your retirement account if you want. I'm just not sure if that's the best way to go about it. That's just my own personal. I don't know how you guys feel about that. But. Yeah, I was gonna say because um, with the retirement, we got you know uh, one of our admins actually Truman that actually trades his retirement account. But you have to be to trade in your retirement account. I would say that's something that you want to be like. I don't know just where you are in your trading journey, but you definitely want to be an advanced trader, like you know playing around with your retirement money. That's something like Shad said, I, I personally wouldn't want to be playing with my retirement money, you know, even, even though it's, it's doable, but I would want to get to a comfortable place. Um, especially if you're trading, you're planning on trading options in your retirement account, that's a very dangerous, uh, dangerous thing. So, yeah. Um, See, but that's I, not my only, invest. that's not my only retirement account. So oh, that's okay. what I'm asking. <laughs> okay. That makes perfect sense now. If, yeah. you, if you do that, my, my suggestion would be, you know, definitely do it with a much, much long-term perspective, right? right? Exactly. So what you want to, what I would do is I look for um, long-term technical plays, right? So I'm looking for stocks that are oversold, that are values. You're going to combine fundamental analysis and technicals, which I think everybody should do, period. You want to understand when a company is oversold as a business, like the business is, is doing well, but the stock price isn't right. And also, you know, it's in a it's in a good place for market cycle, meaning that the, the sector that it's in is likely to do well over the next six, 12 months or whatever the investment horizon is. And then you can leverage options, basically exactly what Rashad does. You can leverage options to create a higher re uh, return on that uh, and then buy that and hold that for a period of time. The other option is to learn about covered calls, which I think is the safest strategy out there is. You hold your stocks that you, you buy, you invest into the stocks itself, right? And then for every 100 shares, you can actually sell options to somebody else and then collect the credit for it. 
without having a whole lot of risk. It's the same amount of risk that you would have, less risk actually than holding the the stock just by itself. You're just to hold the stock by itself. You have nothing to, to kind of gain except for the price going up. And if the price goes down, you're shot. But with selling covered calls on those options, I mean, on those stocks, uh, shares that you're own, you're holding, you at least collect a premium. It's like somebody basically is paying you rent for your shares. So right. instead of your, your shares just sitting in your retirement account, you can basically rent them out. Think of it as like Airbnb being your, your stock portfolio or Turo, whatever it is, your stock portfolio and collecting an income on your the underlying shares. So that's a great way to build residual uh, uh, and creating your own dividend essentially on your portfolio that you can compound over time. And it's a very powerful thing. If you imagine collecting... 3% returns, 4% returns every month, you know, long term, that sound might sound small, right? But you're talking about 36% compounded every year on a, on a, on a portfolio, right? That's massive. People, people would kill for 12%, you know what I mean? Consistent. 10%. Oh, that's the yeah. little, yeah. Yeah. So but yeah, no, that's that gem right there. Definitely. <laughs> that's a whole lot of game right there. Yeah. The cover call. He talked about that on, on yep. another EYL yeah, call. Yeah. Talk about that. So, um, yeah, the cover cover call strategy definitely something that you should be aware of. Every, everybody should, at the very least, be aware of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Appreciate you, Nia. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's go. Is this Janice? Janice, we coming to you. Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. What's going on, Janice? Or oh, is it Janice? Ooh, let's see. It's on, Janice. Janice. <laughs> all right. All right. A Troy, it's the, uh, uh, fellow Jamaican, Janice. Janice. <laughs> what I deal with? <laughs> all right, all right. So I have a question. Um, I want to get in, but I want to make sure because I like to, I'm in technology and I like to know the fundamentals and I want to make sure that um, joining the EYL promo, um, is because I see people commenting whether you have a premium or pro package, what is exactly... Am I getting the premium and what, like as a new person, because my job is very intense and I actually want to carve out time to learn, you know, is your classes taking you step-by-step how to build out that chart so I can know exactly when to enter and exit. So if you could speak to that. Yeah, for sure. So what are we redesigning our class program as the white belt, yellow belt, green belt specifically so that, the white belt program will hold your hand through the process of setting up a chart, things like that, right? Right now, our level one, level two, level three classes, typically people, when they come in, typically at least know some of the very, very basics. So it's more so designed a little bit for people who've at least done something before, right, when it comes to trading. But going forward into the next month, the white belt program, and our beginner chat, our admins, even if you don't know our, don't know anything, you want to set up your chart, our admins will sit down with you and go live on it and show you exactly how to set your chart up, even though it's not a technical class that's already there, right? You just have to go into the beginner chat and say, hey, I need help setting up my chart or whatever it is. Can somebody help me set up my chart? They will be there to you, I promise you. Somebody in the community will definitely shout out. But most of the time, it's, it's just our admin. Our admin teams will, will definitely do that. Um, once you kind of get the hang of that, then you kind of step into level one, et cetera. Um, but going forward, right. white will take care of all that. Now, when you talk about um, like what all it comes with and, or what the, the charting is, we don't have a pro. pro. So when the people say pro, our software is hosted on a third-party application called TradingView.com. TradingView.com is a charting system that they, they provide the charting outlay and backgrounds and things like that. Our indicator set is built on top of their platform, right? So we're currently with Jay and I work on on a day-to-day basis, leading a team with developers who are building out a whole new web application to kind of take the place of TradingView and Discord so that we have eliminate the need for third-party applications and just have everything on one central site. Right now, we have two, two third-party applications when you join Cheat Code. One is TradingView.com, which is free for the um, charting system. They have a pro package with them. It's a thing like $20 a month. If you want to get more indicators on your chart, you want to get more you know, uh, out of their system, that's the pro package for them. It's, uh, not required, it's not required to use a cheat code. You can use the free version of it. It has no, no, you know, it's not, not an issue, but they ha- that's what the pro is. Premium in our community and what we do, premium is all of our, all of our classes, all of our, you know, live trades. That's what Kareem's talking about, getting on the live trades every day, Zoom, kind of like this. Everybody's sitting down trading. You're looking at people's screens, looking at the uh, admin screens, take following the trades that they take. 
Um, you get all the, the help, you know, day by day, in and out, everything. It's basically education and tools, right? Which is what this game is about. Uh-huh. The best education, the best tools. Um, so that's premium. So that's kind of the difference between, you know, when you hear somebody say about premium. One thing. Um, awesome. Thank you. In the aspect of your, your we were asking about fundamentals. Um, do we like have a program that teaches you fundamentals? The bundle deal does come with the stocks and options masterclass which literally walks you through everything you need to know from mm. step A to step Z, fundamentals, technicals, market structure, everything. So you'll be getting that if you get the bundle deal as well. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Appreciate this you. Is, yeah, this is good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get, let's get a couple a couple more questions if we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Uh, you know, we talk about somebody who is uh, focused at work and, and is on a cheat code. Let me, let me bring G on. <laughs> Gee, what's going on? Unmute yourself. You've been unmuted. What's good, my Great. brother? What's happening, people? What's going on, people? Francis, oh, bro. Francis, Francis, I'm I'm Francis J. Who I, I want to first hey, tell you that you have changed this man's life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are my guys, man. Yeah. man I, love, I love, I love what they are doing. Um, shout out to them. Shout out to the whole admin team. Yeah. Um, I have never experienced that that type of that type of love in the community. Um, especially when it comes to trading, right? Like I would consider myself a long-term investor, but like, 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 like Rashad, you know, I got frustrated with AMD, like that whole consolidation piece was, was getting frustrating for me and I lose patience. And so, you know, I had, I got, you know, I connected with, with, with the cheat code and I was like, you know what, I'm going to make money. I'm going to, I'm going to make these, I'm going to make this money back that we lost because I was heavy in tech. And so what I learned is that even in these consolidation moments, there's ways to, you know, increase, you know, increase your earnings. So I, the cheat code, man, has been is revolutionary because I would get in with a buy signal and be out. So I, I've learned my, uh, my my trading style is more of a, uh, a scalp, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, and I, and I scalp like crazy. Mm-hmm. Like I get in. Yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Francis, every day he's calling me something new. First, he's a small <laughs> trader. <laughs> Next week he's a scalper. Then he's telling me he's only trading Monday <laughs> and Friday. I'm like, yo, what you you going going crazy. That's, that's right? how it is. You got you got to tell the people who, who he is, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna get this. So for your for those who are not in the know, and if you're part of EYL University, you you've seen G. He's my actual brother. Like this is my older brother. Um, and I gave him a shout out the other day. His birthday's tomorrow, so I appreciate you coming on tonight. Oh man, happy birthday, oh, bro! Yeah, yeah, happy yeah. But he, shout I out. mean, he sings your praises. I'm, he is like the guy when it comes to Chico. He sings your praises every day. I call him at work. I'm like, Greg, how are you doing this? He said, I, I treat this like a radio station, man. I keep one <laughs> ear on and I keep my finger on my phone and my computer because I got to get busy. Got to. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. Nah, I get busy. I said, you know, the beauty of uh, of of your admin team is that they're all hungry hungry yeah. down earth yeah. and so yeah. uh, when you get into a space where like you have you know people from our culture who who have that same drive and ambition and want mm-hmm. and actually want to help you mm-hmm. know i'm really about helping people and, and helping people you know kind of succeed and so um i you know i'm yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a witness of the power of of communication the power of our community and I'm also a witness of the power of Amazon. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Like, shout out to Truman, like shout out to, shout out to shout out Truman, man. Yeah, shout, shout out to everybody, man. God. Respect to that because yeah. while we was doing Amazon, you know, right. I was also, I had a watch list. You know what I mean? I've been, you know, mm-hmm. taking classes and then also watching my stuff. So we was doing uh, Amazon and I'm, and I'm scalping Amazon, but I'm also scalping Shopify. And so you oh, know yeah. what time it was when we were going. Oh, in. Yeah, that was a hit. That was a hit. Man. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a lifetime. I got a lifetime membership. On you know, just off the rip, off of of, of just being you know being attentive to you know um, the calls that the admins have been making and also the screens. Mm-hmm. I want to yeah. encourage everyone. I want to encourage yeah. everybody. The um the importance um of of you know getting together with a community like this um can't be you know. I can't give you true words that really explain. They they work with everybody on any level, and even if you're not like and you're like you know this is too much for me. I don't know, you know, if I could do this. If you're just around the culture, you will you will get a sense as to how, you know, how to get how to find your own kind of style. Yep. Um, taking yeah. the classes will definitely give you your own kind of you know your own skill set, and then you have your own voice. Yeah. And then you become your own advocate, right? Like you, you take you take what you get, and then you give it to someone else. So mm-hmm. shout out to them. I always, you know, I said it for the first day. I said these dudes is revolutionary. 
That's a know, fact. That's a doing fact. Normalizing the revolution, man. So this. Hey, is hey, G. Hey, G. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna put this out in the air. He said this is his next year will be his last year in education because of all the things that he has learned oh, in the, in the oh, trial. Man. So I want to thank you personally for changing not only my life, but changing my family's life as well. Um, so Chrissy, I know you're still listening. You, this is how I know you. My brother talks about you all the time. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Chrissy, shout out to Bucky, shout out to yeah. TJ, shout out to Pablo, shout out to Doc. Shout out to everybody, the whole community. Everybody, everybody, shout out, man. Shout out to, uh, I, want, I want to shout out to our the DoorDash queen, uh, <laughs> Erin. So yep. DoorDash is, you know, she put me on the DoorDash and I was like, yo, I put it in my top, my top 10 list. And so mm -hmm. I got a watch list that, you know, once I put an alert to my watch list, mm -hmm. it's on. Like it, I, it just takes me two minutes and I'm in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, and shout out to all the admins who, and, um, who, who put out, who put out calls because it's important, yeah. man. And then they go yeah. over, you know, they spend time going over it. So um, the application is there, the execution, the, the, the knowledge, you know, the reason why they're, you know, we're in these positions um, is being explained. And if you have never been on a live trading floor before, this is like the closest you're going to get to it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like the closest you're going to get to it. Like if you are like an adrenaline, like you need like energy, yeah. It's like you like getting in, you like gotta get busy, you, you get bored at times. Right. Jump into the live trading floor. It is amazing. I don't say much because sometimes I have students in front of me and I'm like, all right, I gotta hold on for a minute. Let me get busy. <laughs> 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 sometimes I'll be in the meetings, I'm like, all right, let me just pause and then let me get it and then move out. So yo, I appreciate you, bro. Shout out, shout out to my man Greg, man. Um, definitely shout out to my man Spence too from yeah. our neighborhood. Um, yeah. both of those guys uh grew up they older than us big bros so yeah. to see them involved with um you know investing and learning about trading is really dope man so shout out to everybody out there that's that's uh getting with the movement but um yeah. before we wrap i want i want to just i want to just add as much value as possible in true eyo fashion so yeah. if if it's okay can we troy or or you guys can we go over a play like that you're currently looking at like right now and kind of just break that down is like the last thing that we leave them with before we before we head out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I can do one. Let me uh well I, I think so the one I, I, I did just now with, with uh, Alibaba, I think that's that's a big one for me. Uh but then also there is what's another good one? Uh Costco. Costco was a good one. Costco, yeah. I like Costco a lot. So Costco, um now, Costco, we did get a yellow candle today, so it's not too, too hot. But I'll tell you kind of why I was looking at Costco and kind of what I'm thinking right now. So Costco was at, and, and I'll zoom out a little bit, kind of got my fib levels out here. So kind of like how we talked about earlier on the call, we have our consolidation here. So you'll see Costco ran from the very, very bottom. Remember I told you guys, like, you know, if you get to this green band here and you get a signal, you know, you can damn near mortgage your house, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. So here you're at the green bands. You get the yellow candle. Here you get the oversold buy signal. Here you get the crossover off the oversold level here, right? So down here would have been an amazing time to have picked up Costco at the bottom of March 2021. All right, obviously we didn't get that there, but we had this nice long run, you know, all the way up to 380 something, 382 from, you know, 314. Nice strong run. Now, once we get up to this level here, we start to find ourselves in a resistance area, right? Which also happens to be at one of our, what we call Fibonacci levels, but um, I won't get too, too deep into that. Basically we get our uh, resistance up here, we get our support up here. So we start to get that consolidation. So here's, like I said before, buyers and sellers are battling each other, trying to figure out who's gonna win. We don't want to enter in time in this type of time, right? This is when you got two groups of people just clashing with each other. You don't want to get in the middle of it, right? You want to wait until the victor has been, uh, you know, has been noted. And so here, once we got this breakout of uh, of this particular level, um, this is where I, I entered in uh, on this particular trade. Um, and now I'm kind of playing this long swing up into our next uh, our target point, which is actually our TP1 level. If you look here closely, you'll see that the take pro take profit level here is lining up exactly with, again, our Fibonacci level. So those of you who know what Fibonacci levels are, you, you already know. Um, but 
it's lining up exactly with that as well. So that's a very nice, strong, uh, you know, resistance to target point. So what I'm thinking right now is that this uh, Costco will, will likely, I'm watching it for a retracement back to its EMA, right, which is this red level here, this, this 20 EMA. And I'm going to be looking for a strong entry point for a potential bounce higher to the 407 level, um, at least for the first the first target. So it's a good contract to get. Um, you know, it's a strong company, strong, solid fundamentals. We all know Costco is, is pretty, you know, I think it's, it's a pretty strong company overall, doing really well fundamentally. So uh, that's a trade that I'm, I'm particularly looking at. Uh, or that I'm in right now, um, along with also Airbnb. Airbnb is another one. So, and I'm, I'm gonna try to clear this up a little bit because I know it looks a little crazy. Um, clear that up. So, Airbnb is another one. Uh, we kind of entered into our blue bands here. We got some uh, some indicators telling you, you know, we're, we're likely at a, a nice place for reversal. Now, our EMAs here are acting as a type of resistance point. So, you can see we're trying to break above our 50 EMA on this, but the reason why I like Airbnb, Airbnb obviously is a reopening play. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's people are traveling, you know, we know we got a lot of things going on with that. It's, uh, it's been, you know, sold off since IPO, um, which was all the way back up here at the 200 level, right? And now we're just kind of hanging in this lower, lower range. So uh, right today, we, we just had a nice strong move, um, a nice strong move to kind of break out above our 50 EMA and um, and just basically try to break out of the, our, this consolidation range that it was in here. So this is another breakout play I'm looking at. If, uh, you know, if you pick up contracts or not, I'm looking at contracts uh, October, uh, August at the very, very minimum, uh, but mostly October contracts, if not 2022s, January 2022s. And uh, I'm just looking on this one just to get a retracement back up to at least uh, our – you know, TB2 level, which would be our, our previous support. Um, so Airbnb and Costco are two that I'm, I'm really kind of playing right now. Go on really quick, and you can pull up the chart if you like. Uh, uh, Salesforce, yeah, I know I talk about it a lot. I've spoken about it since December. Um, I wish I had, I was on my the cheat code in December. I would have probably even... Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry here. Oh, matter of fact, didn't we get a guy that, that made like 100,000? I think no, I was on Slack. That was that was another one of Kiel's calls. Kiel called him slack right when they announced uh that they were getting what was it getting acquired or something like that by uh i think it was salesforce i'm not yeah, mistaken that, that happened last june so i actually bought slack instead of salesforce and then huh. in November, i got into salesforce maybe yeah. a little early but um it i mean the the chart speaks for itself here we obviously see the buy signal this is on the daily chart um and it, it is uh, it's been a nice run it's been a, a nice yeah, it's a solid run so Shadi's been kicking me for the Salesforce. We got in a little bit early, uh, but it is climbing back now into a nice place. And so I'm in a, a Jane, no, I'm in a June 22 call, but I'm looking at ads. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. And you see here how like it, it, it smacked right up against the T TP4 level and has been trying to break it ever since, right? So that's how, you, you know, we know again, like these levels aren't there by accident. You know, these are specifically there because they are, you know, resistance areas. So if it breaks past it, then we got a good chance of going higher. So. That's a good call, man. Salesforce is a good one. Yeah, it's a pre I appreciate and, it. And can, can can you use the software on on an iPad? Yeah, you can use it on an iPad. You can use it on an iPad. You can use it on your phone. Because of the fact it's built on top of trading view, which is why we did it. If we were building it from scratch, it would have taken us a long time to get mobile responsiveness and be able to, to do mobile apps and things like that. But trading view already has all those things implemented and built into it. Um, so yeah, you can use it. You can download their app. You can use it on mobile, on iPad, all and all that type of stuff as well. Uh, yeah, that's good to know because uh, Troy bought me a MacBook. I don't even know why he bought me that. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> hey, uh, we just got two on my phone. He still hasn't opened I'm it. On, that was five months ago. <laughs> I'm on my phone. I'm on my phone, man. I'm on my phone 12 hours. I got him an day. iPad too, y'all. He, he still hasn't. I don't even know where that's at. <laughs> it's propping up. It's propping up. It's here. I, I got it right. It's propping up my phone. Hey, listen, man. Jay was still using the same uh, the same laptop from like. Back, uh, this, this laptop was so raggedy, it couldn't do anything. I was like, bro, you have to get them. We got to get better laptops. I literally ordered us both MacBooks like, well, it was, it was like a month ago. Bro, same exact. If he showed you his, the Mac, the, the what did you got, a Toshiba? What you got? <laughs> <laughs> you got a Toshiba with a, like, you got a, the space yeah, bar, like the size of an iPad. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, man. So you definitely got to upgrade the, uh, the tool set, man. Hey, Francis, I got somebody that, that has a question, man. 
You ready for it? Yeah, yeah you might notice this fella. Hey, big dog. <laughs> That's Yo, what's going on? Big what's dog. Going what's going on? on, Jamal, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we hear you perfectly, bro. bro. What's good? Jehu, bro, we can't hear you, bro. No, we can hear you, Jamal. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Listen, again, I, I want to... Listen, I go into your Discord, man. Truman Bucky, as far as what you guys have been doing over there, truly appreciate what you, what you guys are doing. It's, it's really special. The engagement and getting people involved are really, you know, that's where the magic happens and, and getting people to kind of identify and learn different things as far as what they do. Um, yeah. it, it, it's good, you know. Yeah. I, and I, it, as far as I know, Troy was talking about plays and – there was one that I had talked about. I mean, I, we, I caught the Amazon one that you talked about a few months ago. And I'm telling, like, looking at Upstart, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, we talked about it, oh, and yeah, it moves. Yeah. And it moves, right? Like, it moves in either direction. Um, and I want to see from your perspective what the actual chart looks like. You know, because the, the yeah. fundamentals are solid. That's UPST. You know, just even for the people. So even for what you see is how it looks. Yeah, I mean, upstart. So this is a this is like you said, this is one that's pretty, you know, it's volatile. The thing moves, like you said, one direction or another. You can see since since it uh at uh IPO there, you know, we've had large swings from you know, we're talking about a hundred dollars down to you know, forty four dollars. That's a that's a sixty percent swing there, all the way up from forty dollars up to hundred and fifty eight, right? So what is that? Uh 300% on that with 350% or something like that. So it's a very wild swing one. There's not really much on this particular chart that, you know, I can really say that you like that. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it, it is what it, you just catch it when you catch it. Right. Like this is one of those, because of the fact that it doesn't have a whole long established history to kind of go off of right mm -hmm. outside of the volatility. I think right now upstart is just trying to find, it's trying to find its right. It's trying to find its, it's, um, it's kind of uh what do you call it? Like equilibrium point. Right. Yeah. So, as a long term, as a as a as a, a day trade, I think this is something that you could you could day trade. Obviously, you could day trade the hell out of this. You know what I mean on on a regular basis, right? Just paying attention to it. Um, but yeah, and, even and it's on, a baby in the market too. You know, I mean, exactly. they just went they just went public in December. You know, exactly. But exactly. They have so, they have growth and they they have like strong fundamentals, and yeah. and that's kind of why it moves. You know, yeah, exactly. And so that's why I tell them. Okay. No, go ahead. No, and that's why I just tell people to kind of keep it on their radar, you know? Yeah, 100%. 100%. You know? A good idea, if, you, if you're looking like long-term on a particular trade like this, then you can definitely use EMAs as a, as a place to accumulate a position long-term if that's what you're looking, you know, you're looking to, to build a long-term stake here. You know, always looking at the 50, the 100 EMA because of the fact that it doesn't have a long established history. <clears throat> you know, your EMAs are going to be, you know, relatively short like we just got 100 ema because it didn't have enough data to go off of um so you give it a drop down to the forum maybe you got some there so just looking at you know looking at the uh the emas just find a good places to build a position long term would be good here and then again day trading this thing would be you know uh, it's, it's, it'd be something beautiful you know what i mean because it definitely does like you said it does move very strong appreciate you bro yeah there you have there you have oh, shout out jamal man, man. Shout out Jamal again, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's a glimpse into, and you know the thing about it, the great thing about it is, um, we've been having them on, uh, EYL University before we had the actual episode. Right. They was on for months. Um, coming on <laughs> EYL University yeah. once a month. Um, going over the cheat code, breaking down stock plays, like. EYL University is not appreciated enough, I don't think, um, because all of the stuff that we went over, we've been going over um, before the world really got introduced to them um, when they came on EYL, the same way the world got introduced to Wall Street Trapper, the same way the world got introduced to Ian Dunlap. We um, have a strong track record of bringing, um, you know, stars that people might not be fully familiar with um, to the forefront, and this is just the latest of that uh, lineage. But um, yeah, they were they were in EYL University for months before right. before that. Right. So yeah. I say that to say, everybody, if you're interested in joining EYL University, sign up today. Price is going yeah. up. 
uh, it's uh, one of the probably I think the best community for everything. It's it's diverse. So inside of Eli University, we have a legal club, we have a crypto club, we have real estate headed by MG the Mortgage Guy, who is a brilliant in in his own right. Um, financial planning calls by me, um, book and movie club headed up by Troy. Um, and it's just the, it, the reason why we call it the university is because it's everything, everything that EYL is just on steroids. Every single thing that you can really think about is over a hundred past classes. Um, I actually think that it might be a little bit too much content um, because it's like so much content that people really, I don't know if they're fully digesting all of it, but if you're interested, like I said, um, July 1st is the, the change that we're going to make on the price point so eyluniversity.com it's in the, the uh, description of this video and cheat code if you guys are interested in taking your education to the next level I mean we had like 10 testimonies and those are all organic we didn't really plan none of that um, but you know um, the proof is in the pudding and the proof is in people making money more importantly so like I said the reason why I like these guys for a variety of different reasons A they like they know this they know their stuff and um, they're entrepreneurs. And I like to support the entrepreneurs, especially black entrepreneurs. They're young, they're talented, and they get the job done. And um, they've created a proprietary software. So it's like, there's, there's other software out there, but if you're going to use something, you might as well use it from somebody from your community that actually has a community that you can learn from and that you feel comfortable with. That's my philosophy. Um, but Regardless of anything, you should invest in your education if you're going to be a day trader or if you're going to be a swing trader. Um, don't just blindly just go out there. You need to have some technical analysis that this is what you're going to do. And it's not for everybody. Everybody, you know, might not want to take that. And that's fine. But if this is something that you want to do, don't play around with it. Like, be equipped. Don't go to war with a butter knife. Go to war with everything that you need because you're going, you're not betting. You're not. Um, investing against Joe Schmo down the street. You're investing against institutions that have billions of dollars and all kinds of resources. So you have to equip yourself and be, you know, knowledgeable on what you're actually doing or you're just going to get taken advantage of. So once again, um, the website is pinned and it's also in the description. Uh, Troy, if you can say the website again, but um, we have a bundle deal with the good people at Chico. And uh, it's the cheapest place that you can get it in the marketplace. Oh, did they cut you off, Shadi? They might have cut them off. So if you're in uh, EYL University, I'll put it in the chat. It's www.eylccbundle.com. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I still in? Oh, now you're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, that's the cheapest place on the market to get it. And that also is changing completely. I believe that's a 48 hour, 24 hour window for that as well. So take advantage of that. Take advantage of EYL University um, and learn, learn and make some money. Cause I know I am. So um, <laughs> I try to provide you guys with all the resources that you, that you need, man. But thank you guys. Yeah, man. Um, Shout out to you, brothers. Shout out to everybody on YouTube. We'll, we'll, Shout out to you. We'll be doing some more work. We'll be doing some more work with G, with Cheat Code in the future. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Um, and and yeah, thank you guys for for um lending your time tonight. Appreciate it. And um, yeah, if you have any last words, mm -hmm. thank you guys, man. Yeah, for sure. Thank you guys, man. It's always a pleasure. Uh, like you said, man, we definitely know we're gonna be. You know, the stars are just aligned. <laughs> How this whole ship just came came together is just you know, is one yeah. thing, it's, it's one thing after the other. So yeah, definitely we and yeah, we okay. definitely got a lot more installed. That I know we we go ghost, but when we go ghost is when we're working on our biggest. Working man, we're yeah. working. Uh, y'all might y'all don't see us on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah. Technically, we're supposed to, you know, the typical things to really kind of take take the social media thing or something. But we just. We, we 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 locked in right now on something that's just it's revolutionary. Even outside of like what we what we kind of doing right now, mm -hmm. it's a completely different world. We haven't talked about it to anybody yet, really. But you know, when we get it done with, you know, y'all see what's what's going on with that. Um, yeah, man. Crazy. I appreciate y'all, brothers. Every phone call that we've ever had, we we stay true to our word um, from one another, and so I appreciate that. That's really brotherhood. Um, even the times we get to kick it when y'all came up here, and I'm sure. Y'all gonna be kicking it with us in New York this summer. For oh, sure. Sure. So I, I appreciate y'all wholeheartedly. 
uh, YouTube, everybody that was in there. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the admins. I know a lot of y'all admins was in the YouTube tonight. So shout out to y'all. Ernest, to y'all. We appreciate y'all. And everybody that is joining EYL University, please don't be alone. There's an orientation. So if you have some questions about how to maneuver around the website, we will have an orientation with none other than the chancellor, <laughs> Janet, uh, who is uh, the head of our EYL University orientation. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, love is love. You know how we do. Y'all be safe. Stay cool out here. Uh, and we'll see y'all on, on, on the next one. Peace. Yes, sir. All right,